on BRS TV, we have a quick product demo on float valves. This is one of those things that most people overlook when they purchase an RO system, but suddenly makes a ton of sense once they forget their RO system on and spend the afternoon mopping up their basement floor, or worse yet, calling their insurance company. I really don't want to talk about how many times I had to mop up my floor before someone suggested one of these to me. Honestly, it's something that I think every single RODI installation should have set up on the reservoir. They come in two types, fixed and adjustable. The ones that are adjustable have a wing nut on the side which allows you to change the depth at which the float is triggered. But unless you really need that feature, I would get the fixed version. The uh, thing about the adjustable ones is it's possible for that wing nut to come loose which will prevent it from working properly. If you do require the adjustable model, make sure that you tighten the nut periodically. To install the valve, you need to drill a half inch hole in the side of your water reservoir. Make sure the gasket is on the inside. Slide the threaded portion of the valve through and secure with a smaller nut. The hose end is about as easy. The larger nut is a compression fitting for the quarter inch RO tubing. They have some pieces inside that make a watertight connection to the hose. Most of the time they stay secured when sliding the tube through. However, if they pop out, this is what it should look like reassembled. Once you have the compression fitting on the tube right, slide the tube all the way into the valve and then screw on. Make sure that you keep the tubing slid all the way into the valve while you're tightening the nut. One other note on these. While they will stop the product water, they won't prevent the system from producing wastewater. To do that, your system will need an inexpensive auto shutoff and check valve. Other than the Space Saver system, every BRS RODI system we sell currently has an auto shutoff and check valve already installed, so you don't need to worry about that. If you are using another brand RO system, we sell a kit with all these items and have a separate video on how to install them. Well, that about wraps up today's episode of BRS TV. If you liked today's episode and would like to see more like it when they come out, Subscribe to our newsletter or YouTube channel. Thank you for watching BRS TV.